brothers and sisters who rise in prayer. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. All praise due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the long we serve, the long seeks for thine help and aid. O Allah, guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou stow thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray if they heard thy teachings. Say he allows one God, allows he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness and I deserve to be served, worship the praise of Sadallah, Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is our true servant and last apostle. I mean. Like saying, name of Allah who came in the person of Master Prophet Muhammad, the true living God, we fellow thank him. For reading for our message, divine leader, teaching God, and the person of Master Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Almighty God Allah ever be upon him. And on this coming, raise up the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to uh, uh, brother, sister Rafiq, the family. They send the greetings of Assalamu alaikum to all the believers. And uh, Brother uh, uh, Captain uh, Salim Bay, he sends the greetings from the brothers and sisters in uh, Oakland, California. He said, he just want y'all to know that they still here. want us all to know they still there. They, but they, uh, they're running a little difficulty right now. But, you know, we know after difficulty come each, you know. So he's going to be all right with the help of Allah. So he sends the greetings also. And... Um, I'm glad to see that my brother made it down, him and his wife. So, praise be to Allah. So, it's a blessing and honor to have y'all here. And I pray Allah that, that we all get understanding. Because once you, uh, we come into Islam, part of the guidance and the leadership of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings, it's like if you read Message of the Black Man, you say, well, I read that book. No, you you hadn't finished reading it because every time you pick it up and put it down, you see something that you didn't see the first time. That's God knowledge. It's always there. It's always, always a learning period. And we very fortunate to be followers of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. But as we come in the temple. The messenger told us that we have a checking procedure and that we always check. All of us get checked, not just our visitors and brothers and sisters. All of us get checked. And uh, we just want you to feel welcome. Know that the person sitting next to you don't have nothing. They shouldn't have anything. And uh, we don't have no weapons. All is checked. And so we can have a peaceful meeting. And uh, learn to love and respect each other. But you know, there's so much going on today. The teaching of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad is like, is that even myself sometimes we have to get understanding on what he taught. He was a divine messenger. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Allah came to seek and to save that which was lost. And he found one from among you and I to teach and guide us. That's none other than the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. You don't hear about him because the devil, when I say the devil, I'm talking about the white man. We can't put everything on the white man now because we know who he is. The messenger to pull the cover off him. He can't hide no more. See? So we can't say, well, the devil. The devil is a man. He's white. He has blue eyes. Pale skin. Weak bones. Pale face. He wears suits and dresses. They wear dresses. When I say devil, I'm talking about women too. The white woman is the devil also. So we have to understand that. And uh, 
That's not talking about white folks or trying to belittle them or, or make fun of them. That's just how it is. He's a devil. The messenger said. And he always will be the devil. I'm quoting you. And don't you ever forget it. That's what he said. And he has yet to be proven wrong. <laughs> he has yet to be proven wrong. You can't, you can't prove it wrong. Now you find some white folks that know that try to try to do right. Ain't nothing all of them, you know, snake is a snake. You know, yeah, God and snakes, they're not poison. But he's still a snake. He's not black rattlesnake, but he's from the snake family. See, he's uh his nature, his nature. If he could bite you, he wish he could bite you, but he can't bite you and kill you. But his nature is to kill the black man. That's his nature. So we're very fortunate to have had a messenger to teach us. He's no longer with you and I in the physical form. But that what was given to him by Almighty God, Allah, who came to the person of Master Prophet Muhammad, lived with you and I, the believers. And to know it's a blessing. Because we're living at the end of the world. The end of the white man's world. Not the black man's world. The messenger taught us that the black man's world is yet to come. But the white man world is over. We're living in the last days. This is the resurrection of the dead. So-called American Negro. Mentally dead, not physically. Mentally dead. Because once we die a mental death, a physical death, it's all over. If I drop dead now, I'll be here until you move me. Ain't no little spirit coming out and going up to heaven when that, that's it. That's the atom of life, the breath of life. Once you leave, that comes out, that's it. Hold your breath and see how long you can. You see, you understand exactly what I'm saying because you're going to, you grasp for some out. As long as you got it, it can come in and out. You. That's you all right. But when you go back, go out there, that atom of life you threw. That's it. That's how it is. So ain't no resurrection raising us from a physical death like we've been taught. Go down the ground and rot. Then somebody you raise you up. And you go on up to heaven. See, we were taught that. The messenger taught us that the fear was put in our four pants by the slave master, the white man. He's a hard task master. And he gave us the religion Christianity, which is a slave making religion, which was organized and made up by white folks to rule black people. They taught black people that when you die, you get your reward when you die a physical death. You have to die to go to heaven. You have to, part of you to get a reward. In Christianity, you have to die a physical death first. Can't get it no other way, according to them. So they know that when you die a physical death, they know you're not coming back and tell somebody what's happening on the other side. They know this. So you go down with that. You get yours. When you die, you go to heaven. Walk to the pearly gates, uh, street paved with gold, gates silver, all this here. You got wings on, and you just fly all over God's heaven. But the messenger taught us that heaven and hell is conditions of life. It's the conditions of life. You don't have to die to go to heaven. And you don't have to die a physical death to go to hell. The message taught us when we have money, good homes, peace of mind and contentment, friendships in all walks of life, that's heaven. That's, that's what you call heaven. Yeah. You got little bucks in your pocket. You got some money in your pocket and your bills is paid. You got food in the fridge. You, you're all right. And everything is all right. You're not sick and you're happy. Uh, that's heaven. Well, you can't get no better than that. What, what you want? You know, you want what, what, else, what else you want? 
You got a good husband, you got a good wife. Yes. Everything is happy, lovey, lovey, dovey, and you working, and Allah blessing you with what, what more do you want? No, but when you're in hell, you have no peace, fighting, arguing, knocking over chairs and benches, calling each other all kind of names and under the sun. Under the, whatever under the sun we, we call it. That's just how we are. We're made like that. The devil put four, fear in our four prayers and taught us. Taught them. To eat the wrong foods. Eat the divine and prohibited flesh. Hog, pig, pork. He taught us that. We don't eat pork. It's the divine and prohibited flesh. And it wasn't made to be for human consumption. It was made for the white man. Believe it or not, it was made for him, for them, to cure their diseases and stuff that they have. There's a whole lot to this. But you have to keep coming, you have to keep, all of us, we have to keep looking and going over it, because we will forget it. We won't get it to the point where we go down and get a poach out, but you, you know, we forget things. We have to keep refreshing, going over things to keep it refreshed in our minds because we got so much opposition and so many things of life that we're dealing with on a daily basis and subject to pile all on you get you forget so you have to always keep reminding yourself and looking and studying and going over things see excuse me but it's so much that we as black people we are the original people we're from the tribe of Shabazz. The Asiatic, Aboriginal people from the tribe of Shabazz. We're not colored folks. We're not Negroes. We're Asiatics. See, we are the seed of Abraham. See? And the most honorable Elijah Muhammad was the last messenger. He was the divine messenger of God who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. True and living God. He's not a spook. He's a man. Born. Master Farad Muhammad. Flesh and blood. He has a father. And a mother. It's hard for us to believe. Because we've been in the hands of an enemy. And we were taught other than righteous. We, so, we, we stomped down died in the war Christians. We were at one time. Because I know I was in the church of God in Christ. Sanctified church. Not a little boy. Grow it all up still. Believing in the spook. See? That Jesus was Lord. Pray to Jesus. Jesus couldn't save himself. Jesus ran all through his life when he got old forget this mission he ran all through it and he was ahead of his time the messenger told us he said Jesus only means justice justice Christ means crusher one who comes at the end of the world to crush the wicked Jesus wasn't no crusher the messenger said they chased Jesus all up and down until the crucified he just chased him all through that he wasn't no uh 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 uh, he was ahead of his time. He was only a prophet. That's all he was a prophet. So he wasn't, he was a messenger of Allah. And he was born in Palestine. That's where he did all his work in Palestine, Asia Minor. Not in America, in Palestine. His mother, the messenger, taught him, brought him up like any other boy or man going to school. And he suffered all this illness, little things that other people suffered as a kid, a little kid. He was a little boy. He went to school. And his mother taught him. And he said that, uh, the ignorant the messenger say, think that he, he's God himself. But Jesus said, no. He bring the message of the one that sent him. He's not, he's not the Lord. See? So we have to understand, Jesus was only a prophet, a messenger. He dead, he he's gone, he's not coming back. 
the message he taught us. He's he not coming back. Jesus is not coming back no more. Well, over 2,000 years, this man is dead. Like all the prophets, Noah, Moses, Abraham, Lot, Jonah, Job, you name them all. They're not coming back. They're gone. Once you die a physical death, that's it. We're not coming back. We'll live through our offspring, our children. Let you told us. Oh, you look just like your daddy. Your daddy been gone 20 years from now, but you look just like your daddy. That seed. That will live. Pray be told that will live. That will live. Ain't no spook. It's kind of hard to digest sometimes because it was hard for me. Yeah, it was hard for me to accept it. I'm still trying to put up, trying to put up a little something to try to go along with it because I still like wasn't ready to drop that blue habits and things I had a little bit. So I'm on. So I, what about this? I try to hold on to it, make an excuse to hold on to it. But deep down, I know it's wrong. I, I know, I know Islam is right, but I'm just, I'm not ready to step in yet. I finally got ready though. It's about time. Thank Allah. Who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, true and living God. The white man, the messenger taught us, is the devil. Devil only means any live germ grafted from the original is devil. He's a grafted man. The messenger taught us. He was grafted from the black man. See? It took him 600 years to make him complete. But what he wanted to do on the island of Pilon, Patmos in the Bible, Pilon in the Holy Quran. You look at you'll see it. You will look right in there, he'll tell you, get the, the guilty blue eyes. He'll tell you right there in the Holy Quran. I think it's Romans. Romans, I think it's something like in the Holy Quran. But what was it? Um, they talk about the Romans. What I'm talking about, it talks about the Romans. But you can look in the Holy Quran and you'll find it. You'll find it where it say the guilty blue eyes. We don't have blue eyes. White folks have blue eyes. And they tell you. So we're very fortunate, brothers and sisters, to know these things. But he knows that Christianity, he put that Christian, this Christianity on us. He knows how to get our people. See? Because you got to be real careful. With, see, you, 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 this cross here, that represents death. That represents death. You, where you find that at? Go to the graveyard. You see these crosses. Mary, hell Mary, what is it? Hell Mary, full of grace, what is it? Whatever. Hell Mary, full of grace. They cross yourself out there. You, you at the crossroads, the best you say when you, when you do that. You don't know which way you want to go. You can go this way, you can go that way, all kind of ways when you go down like this here. You don't know which, which way to go. Well, you know, this is, this is slavery, suffering, and death. It takes a A wise man, a wise brother and sister to accept Islam. Because under Christianity, you can do anything you want to do. Anything you want to do, you can do it. We know drinking, the mission told us, drinking, smoking. He taught us about smoking years ago. Years ago, he said smoking was how smoking is uh, bad. Uh, on our health. He taught us that. It kills us. In the long run. He may not get you right now. When we start smoking, I smoked for 20, almost 30 years. But it was getting next to me. So I remember when I went to the hospital once, I, my, my lung had two black spots on it. And it came from smoking. This is what the, the doctor told me. But anyway, I smoked the coos. Yeah. About 20 some years. So sure did. I thought, I didn't know. I was killing myself. Even secondhand smoke. There's people that died from secondhand smoke, came in contact with secondhand smoke. No, they didn't smoke. But come in a place where they smoke. The secondhand smoke, they said, is worse than the cigarette. People die from that. All this. 
Drinking. It kills you. Oh, well, I just, I just drink sociable. Well, it's going to kill you, sociable. It's going to catch up with you and kill you. That's how it is. Eating hog. They got that worm, that trickner. Devil called a pork worm, whatever you want to call it. He's trickner. Works his way into your intestines. Suck on your intestines. Works his way all the way through your body. Up your spinal cord. To get to your brain, that's it. It ain't been too long ago. They got a worm about that long out of this lady's brain. But he was just eating half, that ate some of her brain. She caused her to have seizures and all these different things. So they found out what it was. It was a worm about that long in there. Got it out of her brain where you can work this way all the way up. The message said, when it worked the way up that, so you just about through. That's that little trick man. Oh, I got to cook hog. Cook it well done. No, you can't, you, you can't cook it well done. Because, see, they, they got a thing that protect themselves. Allah, see, they got a thing to protect themselves. It can be, they got this, what they call a little coat, little holster they get in, a little shell that can withstand that heat. They can withstand that heat. You can have it on, I don't care how high you got it. The best way to do it, you have to burn it up. Burn all the meat up. Well, you can't eat it. Now, if you sit down and eat charcoal with meat, something wrong with you. Something wrong with you if you sit down and the meat all burn up and here you eating it. You, that's how you kill him. He, he is, he is, that hog, that worm is made, that's his defense mechanism. The messenger know how to kill him, though. We fast, we kill him. We don't give him nothing to eat. You kill him. Eating the right food, you kill him. That's how you kill that, that that's a slow death for hog eaters. And over the years, you, you wonder why what's happening, what's wrong with you, you're and you're fighting, and get, get going mad. That's that hog, that pig, that worm in there, that caused you to do these things. It makes you irritable. Makes you mad, you be angry, you be wondering what's happening. It's that worm, that hog eater. Loud, who oh, oh. you do, who? Oh. You can tell a hog eater, he's the loudest thing in the house. He want to fight all the time. Who you doing, man? Drinks and liquor, oh, oh. Just cat cut up each other. With what we eat. Yeah, we what we eat. So if you eating all the hog, eating the wrong foods, you take on the characteristics to match the other hog. He wallow all in his food. Lazy. Eat anything. Don't look, don't look up to see who be. That's how we do when we get mad. Anybody tell us nothing. We wanna fight everybody, cut up everybody. Who wants to go? Who wants to go? Something wrong with you. That's not normal. Now we're not saying we're holding down. Yeah, you're holy. Holy is something that has not been diluted, mixed, or tampered with in any form. So I think we not holy yet. I think we done been tampered with. So we not holy. You can act like you're holy, but if you look at it, in reality, you're not. I don't care how you act. You're not holy. Because you've been tampered with. I know I haven't. Yes, you have. we all been tampered with. We ate hog and everything else. Dealing with a whole lot of things that we weren't supposed to do. But under this banner of Christianity, that slave making religion, it teaches you and I that when we die, we're going to get our reward. But we get our reward while we live in this land. No, we have our get our reward while we live. We're very fortunate. Some may say, oh man, y'all too strict. The restricted law is our success. Smoking. Gambling. Drinking, fornicating, committing adultery, lying, stealing, 
backbiting. All these different kind of things. Smoking dope. You did a lot of it, didn't you, bro? <laughs> That's a blessing to see your brother. We had one that didn't make it, but he knew. But the thing is, we can go back and talk about these things. And we know, and I know as well as he know that it was Islam. That's why he here. That's why I'm here. It was Islam, the messenger teachings. That's why I'm here. Because I tell you, it was rough. I know Islam is right. I know it's right. You don't doubt on my mind. Pray to Allah. You don't doubt on my mind. Some of them might not agree. That's okay. That's your choice. Stick around. You'll see. The master said, you'll be the winner. I promise you that. He said, I didn't promise you no smooth going. He said, but I can tell you one thing, you'll be the winner. Islam means peace. That's what it means, peace. We don't strap no dynamite to us and go blow up something. No, Allah takes care of that. No, we're different. We're not, we're not that kind of Muslim. Now, we're not like other Muslims. We have all kind of Muslims, like you have all kind of Christians. See? Church in Christ, church around Christ, on top of Christ. All kind of, all kind of Christian religion. I know what we did. We went to church three times a day. Right? Testimonial service, all kind of stuff. We went to church. And believed it. But then sometimes you look around, you wonder, wait a minute, man, you know, it be there, but you don't have an understanding yet. Then when somebody unraveled it like the messenger did, where you say, oh man, yeah, oh wow, how come I didn't understand that years ago? Probably wasn't that time. But nevertheless, you keep living and keep seeking. Allah bless you. But when I first accepted this mom, I, 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 I tell you, I was a stomp down, died in the wood Christian. I know my grandmama was. Yeah, she was a stomp down, died in the wood Christian. Yeah, she said, Jesus is going to come. Jesus is going to save you. I tell you what you do. I say it all the time, let that light bill be due. Let that DTE bill be due. For that gas bill, whatever it is, be due. Car note due. So wait a minute, I'm going to ask Jesus. That man send you a notice, okay. You got a couple on pages, I'm going to come and get it. I'm calling, you start calling on Jesus. Ask Jesus, stop him when he gets to the door. I'm just saying, some of our people's like that. Jesus, stop him. Help him, make him put it off. And just don't pay it. See what happens. Your car be told, you be running, Jesus can't hear you. He's been gone over 2,000 years, he cannot hear you. And we pray and get on our knees. The message got us up off our knees. Waiting on Jesus. That poor brother ran off to his life. He walked the water. No, he ain't walking no water. You can't walk it. Get out and try to walk the water. You can't swim, you, you throw. Ain't no such thing as walking no water. Not literally water, like the river, Detroit River. Go out there and walk across the Detroit River. That'll tell you something that the devil lying. It'll tell you something ain't no truth, but we believe everything he say. We take it and say, hook, line, and sinker. We, we never question him. He said, now, you have to die. When you die, a physical death, if you see God, you die. They say, now, nah, nah, you have to no, no, listen to what they're saying. You got to listen to what they're saying, because, see, they're real slick. 
This is the game he put. This little game right here. Right? This is the game. Okay. First of all, you got to die to go to heaven. You got to die physical death to go to heaven. You tell you, you got to go down in the ground. They bury it, throw dirt all on you. Six months, them worms, and had a field day on you. And you got to die, then you got to go to heaven. Okay, now. If you see God, you're going to die. But no, you got to die to go to heaven. How that sound? You got to die to go to heaven. Okay, now what you going to heaven for? Because if you see God, you're going to die again. This is what they're telling you. But we, 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 we missed that. Now I'm going to die. Okay, I, got, okay I, I, I can't get into heaven, but die. The only way I'm going to walk the pearly gates and get me some wings and all that, eat honey and milk. I go right over there to the drugstore and get that. I'll go to Kroger. Get organic honey. Yeah, I get organic honey. And organic milk. See, I ain't got to die to go up there to get no honey and milk. No, I go get some honey and milk right there and drink it all day. Till I get enough of it. Okay, now. This is the white man. He real tricky. He deceitful. He a deceiver. And he know how to get us. See, Islam, we, 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 the message pull that coat out often. Okay, now, when you die, you say you're going to heaven. This is what Christianity, this is Christianity. This is what they teach. When we die a physical death, we had a funeral and everything, they say, where he going? When they say the, the Passover or whatever they say, he going somewhere on, on you see the bitch where he's in, in peace up there. Okay, if now, he didn't die, he go to hell or hell. Okay, now when you go, you don't hear you coming now. You don't, you you living now. You don't you done died once. Now if you see God, you are gonna die. You are gonna have to die again, cause that's what you going up there to see. You, they say you gonna sit by God on His throne. Of, that's what you are going to see. Okay, you are gonna die again. Something's wrong. Somebody lying. Somebody trying to pull a fast one. See, but see, we shut it out of our mind. Oh, that's okay. White folks said it. Yeah. These, these kind of things. They're all going to mess you down. Yes. Prove it. He ain't unproved it. That's not good enough. They did what? They did what? Uh, 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 who was Moses the same way? Who made you go auto bus? See? These kind of things. This, you have to understand and look into what this man is, 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 is this Bible. Yeah. That Bible is tricky. See, the messenger, he reinterpreted it for you and I. He unraveled it. The secrets, what was hidden in there. Yeah. That Bible, man, is something. It's prophecy. You have to have somebody to unravel it to teach us that. Put your hand on the Bible. The devil, I swear, put your, first thing they do, put your hand on the Bible. They don't even believe in themselves. Got you in there. I'll tell the truth, whole truth, 